just like a Paul through an AC-30. It's just real simple and real clean with little hair. Just an amp and a guitar, really. And the second sound, it's just got a little modulation and a little delay on it. Just give it a little space. Uh, actually, a strap through the AC-30. Third sound is uh, back to the Paul with a little delay on it, but it's using the new Marshall model that I got in the latest upload. A little more gain. It's real clean, you know. It's got that real pristine high end with the fat too. And this sound is the little uh, Fender model. It's just complete. It's made everything possible that you know. Took a trunk full of gear and rack full of amps and effects and a crew to pass off guitars possible. And even like within the context of one song, you can do things you couldn't have done. Even with all of that available, you know, you switch from a Paul on the bridge to a Strat on the bridge, and then you can switch to two different amps, which you could do with you know a real good switching rig, but not the guitar switching, not the effects, and all that at the same time. It's just, and the thing that's really made a big difference in is you use this track in the studio. You get the sounds that you did for the track in the studio, and then you go play live, you got the same sounds and the same guitars. So you're not making any compromises. You know, it's not like, oh, well, I used this on the record, or I used this on that track. Now I'm going to have to figure out how to finagle that with this one guitar. I hadn't played a very axe or really thought about getting one because I have a lot of real vintage gear sensitive clients, you know, if it's not a certain guitar of a certain vintage and, you know, certain lineage, they didn't want to see it come out, much less a modeling guitar. So it just started off as a project to see if I would use it, you know, and it kind of just a novelty. And, uh, this is a net from a toe guy that I had on endorsement in the 80s. The body was replaced, a replacement of that toe guy body by a luthier that I uh, recommended just starting from scratch. Then my wife did the uh, art as sort of a tribute to my redneck lineage and my southern upbringing. So the real blessing has been that I, I hardly play anything else now. I use the uh, 12 string model on sessions a lot, you know, when it's just a walk in session, you don't have cartage, and at the last minute somebody goes, Well, does that thing do a 12 string? And you know, you pull it out. And most people are you know, pretty shocked to hear it come out as as well modeled as it is. You know, it sounds great to track. I use um, the Gretsch models a lot. I use the acoustic live a fair bit. And there's another great benefit got a song, you want to start off with an acoustic, you hit a switch and you're now playing a pop or a Marshall. A pedal switch away. that.